G'day guys, Aussie FIFA HD and welcome back to yet another episode of The Road to Glory on this channel. Now today is a bit of a special video because up in front of your screen we came up against Mitchell Austin aka Melbourne Victory's pro FIFA player slash pro footballer. So lads, it was an absolute honour to play this guy, Austin Powers aka Alcatraz and as you can see his team is absolutely fantastic. Now you're going to see the gameplay role in the background. You're going to see we actually come away with a win in this game. And I, I think I played a fairly decent game against this guy, considering, considering, considering he's a pro FIFA player. Now, I want to quickly mention, though, before I go on with the comments from you guys from the last episode, whilst you watch the gameplay, I will answer them. But before I jump into that, I want to mention that this guy, Mitchell Austin, absolutely annihilated me, lads in the first game that we played. That's right, I played this guy two times. He annihilated me in the first game. And in this game, I really was sort of try-harding, if you like. I mean, uh, I wasn't sort of giving away possession as easily. So you will see I was very careful with the possession, but you're gonna see, uh, well, you won't see, but in the first game, he annihilated me. You know, I didn't play the best this weekend, league, um, And, you know, I'm pretty disappointed with my, with my, uh, with my performance performance to be honest however um, he beat me 8-5 eight, eight, which I mean sorry 8-3 which um, I mean it was a very close game in the beginning of the game I mean uh, up until half time it was only like nil nil or one nil or something like that and uh, yeah he brought on that Mitchell Austin card and it tore me to shreds I mean that 95 rated pro card <laughs> I, 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 I you know myself I was a professional footballer because you know imagine if I got myself a, a professional pro card uh, you know for, for the game which uh, it tore me to shreds um, it, it's a fantastic card I mean I'd love to review it but obviously I'm not gonna ever do that um, but it honestly I mean it's it's something I'll, I'll never ever have but it's something that I would always dream of having um, because <laughs> I mean, you have no, you guys have no idea how much that uh, that card tore me to shreds. However, in this game, you're gonna see we took the lead early in the ninth minute. A lovely sweaty goal. You know, it was a bit sweaty. It was a pass across the goal, but that's how you score in FIFA 18. Is those cut bats and Ronaldo, our pat first owner, untradeable. Uh, no, Ronaldo scores the first goal. However. Without me, uh, you know, sort of talking and boring you guys too much, I will jump into the comments from the last episode. Thank you guys ever so much for your support. That was the episode where we realised we couldn't get the 93 rated Prime Icon for like, my god. I was disappointed. And lads, you guys know we sold the 86 rated baby version of the Hullet so we could complete them Prime when it came out. And uh, yeah, I mean, I got too addicted with the uh, with the baby icon SBCs after I packed Ronaldo and uh, I pretty much used all the coins that we had available to us. We had over around 2 million coins available to us and yeah, I spent them all on those Prime, well not Prime, but baby icon SBCs. So, I mean, I'm a bit disappointed. We are... Um, we are at least halfway to uh, two thirds of the haul it done, uh, but you know we, we probably should play a few more weekend leads, and, and probably will have to play a few more weekend leads before we can afford him. However, I might see how I go through the week. I might be able to trade up to him or etc. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to using that 93 rated Prime Icon Hullet, who is our goat lads. Obviously, this is the goat to glory, so I uh, can't wait to start using him on the channel. However, Manical Ball 47 says you're an awesome YouTuber. You will reach the top one day. Well, thank you so much for your words my friend I do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart I honestly don't think I'll reach the top one day I honestly don't think I'll reach 10,000 subs one day it's just fun for me to upload for you guys and I'm, I'm glad that you guys are joining the content I mean we got 19 likes in the last episode so thank you size thank you size thank you guys so much um, and yeah hopefully uh, good times continue on the channel Jake FH has been waiting for this video GG my man he is finally here and then he said afterwards that oh I just watched the whole video hopefully you get the coins to do it and yes I mean, I did sort of drag that video on until I could tell you guys that I couldn't afford it because I was, you know, hyping it up I'm like, yes, he's here, and I'm like, I'm sorry, but I can't complete him. So, I mean, I'm just as disappointed as you are, Jake. <laughs> I mean, I can't wait to use this card on the weekend lead. However, we can't use him until we complete him. So, uh, I mean, as I said, we're nearly done. Uh, it will take me another 500k or so to complete him as we have done at least 2 million coins worth of the, uh, the, the SBC so far. So... I mean, we'll have to see what happens there. However, Samuel Patterson says the road to glory is unreal. Well, thank you so much, Sam. I do appreciate it, my friend. And uh, yeah, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content. I mean, 
I mean, you know, I'm, I'm trying to push out as much as I can. Uni has been getting, uh, you know, the better of me and I uh, haven't been doing as many videos as I should be. You know, I haven't been up really loading really once every two days. However, I will try to increase that for you guys and hopefully get some more content out for you. But it's kind of hard because EA are really sort of... Uh, Limiting the content that we can do. I mean I can do for champions gameplay and the reward, but what else do I do a draft? Do I do a pack opening? Do I do a squad review? Do I do a, a tutorial? I don't know Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see different types of content on the channel Maybe even some uh, some Fortnite. you know, we'll see how we go with that. However um, Rahoa says beast. And thank you so much Rahoa a long time viewer of the channel you are a beast too, my friend. Anyway, we'll jump into the next video, which I had a lot of comments from as well. Um, you guys smashed that like button on the episode number 58? I, or 59? I think it was that, no. Sorry, sit, no, 70. Okay, no, I was way off, way off. But uh, episode number 70, you guys smashed 24 likes. Wow, that was, uh, that's, that's good support, lads. So I appreciate that uh, from the bottom of my heart. And uh, we'll jump into the comments there if they will load. However, you will see um, we did perform well in the Mitch Austin game. We uh, went 2-0 up, and then eventually you will see he does come back to make it 2-1. However, we kept position well, and we ended up winning the game fairly comfortably. However, Rahawa says, you 100% can get 100k subs. No, man, I don't honestly think I can. Um, if I do... I'll eat my words and I'll, uh, you know, admit to you guys that I was wrong. However, I just don't think I'm, uh, I don't think, I mean, I believe in myself, but I'm just not good enough. I'm just not good enough to be that good. So just, you know, I mean, thank you so much for the kind words. I just don't think, you know, I'm good enough to be a big YouTuber. Absolute legend also, you said. Um, and you also said, do you play Fortnite? If so, you should make a video on it. And I was just talking about that before, whether I should make uh, Fortnite videos for the channel. And, you know, I mean, Fortnite's getting more popular than FIFA these days. You look at all the FIFA YouTubers. Some of them are doing polls at the moment, saying, would you rather play FIFA 18 or Fortnite? And the majority of saying Fortnite. So lads, FIFA 18, in my opinion, is dying rapidly and something needs to be done to re reawake the game. And Foot Birthday was meant to be doing that and I believe it did for a bit. But lads, I think a lot of people have finished playing the game and uh, that's a massive issue for EA Sports. However, um, I will say that even myself, I did a poll. I did a poll on Twitter and I said, well, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, go and check the, 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 the description. The link will be in there. But uh, I did a poll on there and I said, you know, if, if uh, I can't battle eye, not battle eye, I don't know. I don't know who the producer is of Fortnite, but whoever the producer of Fortnite. And I said, if they actually did a weekend lead for Fortnite, where you played 40 games of Fortnite, and however many wins you got means, or wherever you ranked in those 40 games, uh, would rank you and you get rewards and pack, uh, like different packs with, with different suits and, and skins, etc. Would you play 40 games of Fortnite, or would you play 40 games of the weekend league in FIFA 18? In a high majority, around 70 to 60% said they would rather play 40 games in Fortnite, lads. And that just, just goes to show what FIFA is like at the moment. I mean, it really is dying. As I said, Foot Birthday was meant to be a reawakening of FIFA 18. And yes, it did, in my opinion. However, it needs, like, EA still need to do promos like this. And I think um, some new ones would do a, a very good job if they would, you know, do some engaging content. Uh, f f f f I don't know, for the creators as well, you know, for me and for, for big YouTubers, etc., um, to, to actually put on the channel. Because, as I said, it's just lacking in what you can upload these days. And, uh, you know, can do SBCs. But then again, there's only a marquee matchups every week. One every week, which means that you don't have anything to do other than that SBC, which I want more. I want others like, oh, like, I don't know, like the foot... Uh, 9 to foot 17 ones, you know, from foot birthday, I want more of that, something I can create and something I can do for you guys to make a video on, because honestly, it's lucky, it's lucky in the moment, and I think that's what's really killing FIFA 18 at this current point in time. Alan Litchfield says, nice video as always, well thank you so much. My mouth is very dry at the moment, I need to sort of drink a bit of water, but I don't have any around me, anyway, it doesn't matter. Alan Litchfield says, nice bit as always, well thank you so much Alan, I do appreciate it, my friend, and uh, yeah, that was, a, that was, there was a few more, but uh, I might, uh, oh, 
Sir Raj Cotsnis says, nice video, bro. Well, thank you so much, my friend. Um, I do appreciate it. But uh, I will end the comments there as I will continue to uh, sort of commentate over this game. And you just see that the 52nd minute, lads, was still 1 0. And I was seeing if, uh, you know, Mitch, Mitch, Mitch Austin was changing formation because we're 1 0 up. And I thought, well, do I need to counter what he's playing at? And he obviously went for the 4-2-3-1, which is what I was playing to counter my formation, but it just didn't seem to be working for him. You will see, we do go 2-0 up in this game, which I was very stoked about that. And, uh, I mean, I can't complain about the goals either. I thought they were quite nice goals, considering uh, the defence that Mick Johnston has. I mean, you know, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. You know, my defence couldn't keep up this weekend. And, um, honestly, um, I need to get rid of Koscielny and Bailly and start moving towards the Ferdinands, the Maldinis, in the Desaies because I struggled this weekend, Lee. Like one in defending, two in attacking, and uh, you will see here, lads, and Lovica after a goal through a uh, great overlap from Henri and a first time finish into the bottom corner to make it 2 0 in the 53rd minute. And uh, that was a lovely goal. Cut back inside the overlap. I dragged the defence from one side to the other, and uh, Henri was sitting at the back post to slot it home. And I mean, it was a nice goal, but then again, he should have really tackled me with, uh, with, with, with when I had the ball with uh, what do you call it, Del Piero, uh, and it was a bit of an A's goal there. However, two 0 up, I can't complain against a, a player at this caliber, and uh, you will see we did keep possession well to try and keep the lead. As you see that Mitch Austin card, as I was talking about before. Wow, he caused me trouble in that first leg that me and Mitch Austin played. Um, as you see there, a lovely shot from Mitch Austin, Mitch Austin, and. Uh, yeah, Messi's there to tap it home at the back post. 2-1, 56th minute, and uh, as you see, I mean, Mitch Austin causing me troubles once again, even in the second leg. I mean, that shot was from a tight angle, at an acute angle of the pitch, and yet the keeper still rebounded it, and uh, he still ended up parrying it to Messi's feet, who then scored. But you will see, we do get a third goal later on that does seal off the win. Petit pushing up, lovely possession on the outside of the bots. I bet back into Burkamp. Uh, well, I uh, saw R9 uh, uh, holding the ball up into uh, Del Piero, back into Burkamp, and that's a lovely save from that De Gea card. And I'm not sure whether it was that team of the year or the goal version, but De Gea this year is very overpowered, and I think I need to get him. I mean, I've been rocking the lights of uh, Icon Van der Sar lately. I've been rocking the lights of Courtois, and I really have sort of noticed the difference between them and a you know top-class goalkeeper in this game. So such as uh, De Gea. And also, I must mention that French goalkeeper in form that, uh, I'll get for being up in a second because that, the other weekend, I had this French goalkeeper in form that was fantastic. I mean, I used De Gea um, before and De Gea is a fantastic goalkeeper, but this really was on par and he's only like 20 to, 5, 20 to 30 thousand coins for this inform card. And I'm actually going to, uh, to put players. Now we go to French goalkeeper informs. Um, just get, bear with me for a second. Go to nations and uh, popular France. And then we go to, to, to versions and we go to gold informs. I think we should be able to uh, see who this guy is. Now I do apologize for the, for the delay in this, but the guy I'm talking about is Benjamin Lecomte. Now he's only 26,000 coins. He's an 88, 85, sorry, rated goalkeeper that's an inform. He's got 88, um, let me just get his card up here because it was not really showing the stats, but he's got 88 diving, 88 reflexes, 85 handling, handling 89 kicking, 57 speed and 87 positioning. All of those stats are above 85. It's of an exception of uh, 57 speed, which, lads, that's a fantastic keeper. And yes, I know stats don't really sort of represent the keeper's ability on the game because obviously keepers are always going to make bad mistakes. I've seen De Gea make some stupid mistakes. I had that icon Prime Van der Sar as, a, uh, as, an, as an SBC completed to put into the Hullet SBC. Obviously, I did complete that to put into the Hullet. And uh, he made some dreadful mistakes. I mean, he made some good saves. But then again, he made a really, he made a lot of bad mistakes. This Lecomte card, I really did find it rare that he made a mistake. I mean, he made some very good saves, very solid. He just is very acrobatic. He seems to always get back on his feet from parrying them, and he seems to make second and even third saves. He just seems to be a very good shot stopper, and that's what I liked about him. His handling was a little bit lacking. I mean, he did parry quite a bit, but when he did parry it, as I said, he gets up. And he goes again, and because of that reflexes, because of that reactions, because of those reactions, 
he, he just seems to, to do a decent job and that's that's what I liked about this car. When I do get uh, you know an icon partnership in defense I will get this card so I can get that partnership of uh, of course the uh, sorry not the partnership the uh, the length because obviously he is from the French League I don't think there's many good French League defenders in my opinion you know you have got Thiago Silva but then again Thiago Silva I mean He's not a very overpowered meta player in this game, so that's an issue. So you can't really use this card. And I do apologise here, though, for all the cutting and uh, you know, sort of the jumping from each clip. You will see that happens, and I'm not sure why it does happen. Um, but uh, there's something wrong with the with the editing software at the moment, which I'm having issues where it cuts every now and then. But it doesn't cut much. It only does like a minute in gameplay, which isn't much. But as you see, Mitch Austin change from the 4-2-3-1 over to the 4-1-2-1-2 to try and counter my 4-2-3-1 defense formation and it seemed to uh, seem to not very it wasn't very effective for him it, it, let's say that and um you will see we do hold this game out to make a 3-1 victory and I think um, it definitely was a good performance from myself um, you know and I just wish I could perform like this in every single game because obviously you guys know if you verse uh, say a pro player you're gonna try your hardest to beat this player if you're versing an average player you're sort of not thinking about it much and you're sort of not really caring you're just sort of trying you're trying hard but you're not sort of I don't know it's hard to explain but you're not really trying in the sense where you're try harding if you know what I mean it doesn't really make sense but I'm sure you guys know what I mean when you verse a good player you obviously try very hard and you try to the best of your ability and you're always on point you're thinking of the game totally and you, you're really concentrating but as, as you know versus an average player I don't seem to do that and I think, I think that's what my issue is is I don't try and try hard to keep the ball I don't sort of think about the game in a, in a sense where I'm really really trying hard to try and beat this player because he's not that good I seem to lose to him because I'm not trying as hard as I should be and that's what I think my issue is I hope you guys know what I mean there but uh, Mitch Austin because he was a pro player I was really trying hard to keep the possession being careful with the ball and that's what I should do with every game and I don't so that is a, uh, a con with myself as you see Ronaldo pushing forward a lovish fake shot stop and uh, that was unlucky not to get that head with Del Piero that's what I find as an issue is I have been cross on it quite a bit. Uh, you see that Mitch Austin card, and I will do a tactical foul here with, uh, I remember that foul that I did there, it was a ta tactical foul to try and stop that counter, and uh, I mean, I injured the big boy Mitch Austin himself with a K. However, as you will see here, he does do a short corner, uh, free kick, right out has possession, but you will see we defend tight here, and uh, we're auto switching with the right uh, uh, stick, and uh, you see a lovely save from Courtois to keep Ronaldo out and uh, yeah we will win this game 3-1 88th minute there wasn't really much point of well, wasn't much time of my opponent coming back here um, Petit pushing up the line uh, cutting back inside saw the run of uh, Ronaldo Ronaldo had the ball lovely holding up the play into Burkamp saw the uh, pass into uh, Henri but he does intercept with Teles uh, he, you know sort of puts, puts a bit of a, a rush pass up to Messi to Austin and to Ronaldo and then you go again, another one of those cuts, I'm not sure why it's happening, but that did signal the end of the game. Uh, a solid win for myself, even though it didn't represent how good I played this weekend league. I played dreadful in this game, I played, partic played particularly well. Um, probably because he flogged me really in the first league and I thought well I'm not going to do it again I'm going to try hard and I ended up winning the game 3-1 however you know kudos to my friend well, not friend but kudos to my opponent Austin Powers uh, Alcatraz aka Mitch Austin the pro FIFA player for Melbourne victory I do uh, sincerely um, sort of appreciate the game you played well my friend and uh, yeah hopefully we come up against each other in, uh, in well I'm not sure if you're probably not going to watch this video but I hope we come up against each other in the future however that's going to signal the end of this episode. I do, hope you, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Can we smash 20 likes? That would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with you guys hopefully again tomorrow with another episode. I'm out guys. Have a good day and peace.